sign of Leo. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for December 24th and 25th, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Um, thank you for like sharing, subscribing, commenting, all of that. I appreciate all of it and I um, want to send my gratitude out to you. Uh, let's see, we're going to start uh, by pulling some oracle cards and then we're going to use the tea leaves and clarify with the Rider Waite Tarot. Anything that we don't see, how it connects. And we call in the Divine White Light to bless us here as we do our reading. Bless you while you're watching. And calling our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Give us only the message that's for the greater good, the sign of Leo. All right, Leo, let's get started. Wow, immediately. This is the spell casting, spell casting oracle, okay? So, we have well-being. We have empowerment. Nice, 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 nice. And life purpose. Strong reading, strong reading. Good reading. All right, let me look up well-being and just tell you what the, the key magical words in this card are. It means lifestyle choices need to be revised. A welcome energy shift is coming. Try to consume healthy foods and beverages. And you're about to turn a corner. So something's looking up. Something might be like almost manifesting for you. Um, the meanings for empowerment are stand up and be counted. It's time to get your opinion across. Someone is trying to control you. Participate in an organized firewalk. Okay. And seize the day. Life purpose. Life purpose is a spiritual experience. Changes your views. Trust your intuition. A new venture beckons. Consider your options carefully. Seek adventure. And embrace your life to the full. Nice. Nice. All those good advice, good cards. Um, we'll see. Let's get a wisdom from the Oracle deck. Let's get a card from Wisdom of the Oracle deck. So empower, maybe, maybe whatever you're doing for your life purpose is putting you in a power type position. And it's it's for your own good to know that you deserve this power and you deserve to be, you know, the creator of your, your dreams. Whoa, <laughs> we got a lot. All right, so I'm just going to read the, kind of briefly what they mean about this card. It's a really good card. Happy, happy has to do with your manifesting. Um, let's see, it's 26. So really, it is a very, very good card to get this one. I think it's one of the best. Um, other than the higher power, it's one of the best. So we have happy, happy, joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, and a feeling that all is well. And look, it's right beneath well-being. Um, let's see. Happy, happy also means that your desires are going to be effortless, effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment. Whatever is happening and be satisfied with things as they are. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of you being at one with spirits plan for your life and all is well. And it, it kind of ties in that life purpose. So already we have some cards that are connecting. Okay. Deep knowing, maybe some psychic abilities, maybe clairvoyance, claircognance, um, clairsentience. Let's see, 43, 43, okay, we've got intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, and hypersensitivity, so this might be about being like an empath, like, so if you get, um, just for the people that don't know if they're an empath or not, one of the common things that uh, empaths have is anxiety. Um, special in so, especially in social situations. Um, 
I know with me, like my heart rate always goes up really high. Um, almost like I'm nervous when I'm around other people, but I think it's the energy um, because I feel different ways around different people. So definitely think it's the energy. This is going to, you know, suggesting that you have a deep knowing, you know, the answer to something. All right. By the book is talking about doing things the right, legit way to get your point across. So if you have a point to make, make sure you're doing things in the right order um, and following the right rules because it will only come back to bite you if things are done wrong while trying to make a point. That makes sense. And then we have regeneration. This is seriously uh, probably another one of the best ones because this is all about, you know, things that came to a really a rune, things that messed up, things that got messed up, things that weren't right in your life that tore down foundations, maybe a tower card in the past. And your regeneration is showing that you're not only going to come back full force, but you'll come back better, like, like something that's been restored and it just looks better even than when it was made. So really good cards. I'm looking up on this reading. Uh, let's see, Leah, let's get you some tea leaves. Oh, that's nice. All right. All right, I think that is enough. We have purse, pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your finances. Bread, oh, nice. Period of prosperity and abundance. You may need to be careful with that. Um, because that's what it's kind of suggesting here. This coming out right before that, um, period of prosperity and abundance. I mean, just really, really good cards. I think it goes a little bit more over here though, with the happy, happy, and maybe there's a deep knowing that something you're doing is going to work. Maybe it's like that. Um, we have wreath, we have sorrow over a loss. Uh, so, you know, this, this also, it, it doesn't just mean losing a person in your life. It can mean the ending of a situation, like the ending of knowing somebody and you just split ways. It can be something like that too. All right. So let's get us a Kim Crans archetype card. For our Leos, 24th, 25th. For Leo. The poet. How nice, the poet. All right, so some of you may be writers. Some of you may be, it may be very literal. Some of you are poets. We are all, in one sense of the, of the word, we're all poets in our own lives. Um, you know, outlining what we're doing and why this is the artist the witness and the truth teller the poet's work oh sorry the poet's work is to feel immensely and not to be afraid kind of kind of like this empath card this hypersensitivity um they must seek out the truth even in the darkest corners of the world and carry it back for all people to see the unique capacity resides within us all, regardless of our relationship to creativity. When the poet energy is present, there is a call for deep honesty and reflection, for seeing the big picture within the little one. The poet rides effortlessly through personal and universal. It is possible that others may not seem to listen or care about the poet's work, but do not be discouraged. The words of the poet ring true for centuries to come, soothing the wounds of the despair and violence that captivate our world. The poet's work is never finished. Find your voice and trust that the wind will carry it. Oh, nice. Okay, so this, this means clairvoyant wise and timeless and i thought i thought that might be clairvoyant and i believe that's when you uh see things like when you have flashes and you just see things it could be just a deep knowing too um let's see knowing through your senses i think that's clairsentience something like that 
All right, Leo, let's get some tarot and let's just kind of go over some of these. They're not really, there's hardly anything that's bad. I don't, I don't think I can make this better or worse. Oh, cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Sorry, that might have something to do with you fulfilling your life purpose and empowering you. All right, so let's get, yeah, let's get a card on the, the poet. Let's do the poet first. Whoa. All right, we got a few, guys. We have Knight of Pentacles. So this is about this is about your money, right? And it's about money that's coming in and it will come in. It's just going to be a little bit slower. It would be a little bit slower, but it is coming. And then we have Ace of Cups, which is a pathway to something that's very emotionally fulfilling. Um, no matter what this is, if it's a new start with a baby, if it's a new start with a family, whatever it is, there are some regrets. There are some regrets looking back. There are some regrets looking back on the past. Things that you might have done different. Don't beat yourself up. You know, that, that card is about, to me, it's about somebody that's just like looking at the negative and beating themselves up a whole lot. And we don't want to do that. That lowers our vibration. So we need to keep our vibration high as can be. There, let's see. And then we have the Happy Family card. The Ten of Cups. Something is going to all pull together. And I think it has to do with your pentacles. Because there you go. Ace of Pentacles. Two aces. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Um, the Ten of Cups. You know that that is like big time um, changes for the better. Material and emotionally. For the family. So that you can focus on the family because you see their backs are turned. So it's like being able to focus on your family, kind of shutting out the chaos of the outside world. And and there comes your pentacles again. So you've got the path for your pentacles. It's going to be shown to you. I think you will um, have a deep knowing about this. Let's see. Um, and let me get, I was wanting to get something for buy the book just to see kind of what they're talking about here. And so we could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles, if it's talking about a person. It's clarified by the book. Nice, nice. Oh, good, look. So a wish is gonna be granted regarding this financial financial issue or um, a issue where somebody's feeling abandoned or out in the cold. There's going to be something that fixes it. It's going to be a wish come true. That's exactly what it's going to feel like to you. So see, and we have that trumping the five of pentacles. It's just, it looks really good for you, Leo. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, sending much love and light out to you. Uh, join me again for the next one.